Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of the diorama build. Today we'll be working on the depot section of the build. So off camera I went ahead and drew out the various sections of the depot. So in front of us we have the road which stretches from one side to the other of the full diorama build. Then we'll have the footpath that we will 3D print and then we have the walls that will stretch around the depot. So we'll have three walls that we'll glue onto the base and then the side and the back wall, we'll just glue them on the sides. Right, so the plan today, we're going to work on the yard of the depot. So I reached out to the Instagram followers and decided to run a poll to see what we would cover the yard with, concrete or asphalt. And lo and behold, Asphalt got the most votes, so that's what we'll be using today. So the asphalt is an acrylic paste and it is made by AK Interactive. Now I'll link the website down below for anyone who is curious about the products because they have a huge range when it comes to making dioramas. I'm quite experienced with the products already as I used the concrete acrylic when making my bridge beams. Right lads and ladies, let's get started. Now we are nearly done. Just got to run over just a little bit of water to smoothen the top layer down nice and soft. I couldn't let you uh, sit through me doing this whole thing. It would have put you to, right to sleep. Just the last little bits to tidy up. Make sure they're nice and smooth and flat. Yeah. If you have any questions. Feel free to leave them down in the comment section. That is all for today, folks. I will add in a few photos at the end of this to show you what the acrylic looks like when it is all dried. And it should give a nice asphalt texture. Alrighty, have a good day.
All right, so we are back after leaving the asphalt acrylic paste to set over the last 24 hours. So let's have a look and see how it came out for us. So we get in a little closer. You can see it leaves a little nice grainy texture to it. Uh, there are patches where I could have used a little more of the paste but it was quite thick when I was spreading it and then there was other parts where you can see the white there there a little bit up there where again I was a little light spreading it and the white of the foam board is coming through also up along the edges here here and here you can see a few little white bits also that will need to be um done again so when the full diorama is finished you see none of the white uh, foam board coming through now it's a little messy along here the far side but we'll be putting a wall down on top of that so you won't be seeing it and again you see a little mess along there we'll be sticking the road for the depot along here so it'll come over and you won't even see it yeah, so when I was spreading the acrylic paste, I really, really underestimated how much that I was going to need. Um, the substance itself was quite thick and it had separated whatever they use in the materials and the oils, the two of them separated. So I had to mix them together for a good 10 minutes before starting. And it was still a, quite a thick substance compared to the concrete when I use for my beams. So I used up quite a lot of it and I probably have enough just for the road outside the depot. I'll probably have to order another tub of it for the road that goes along the construction site. So I'll get the tub for you now. So I'm gonna show you what the substance looks like. So it's quite dark. It is quite thick. Let's see now if I can get the camera to focus in on it for you. Yeah, it's, it's quite a thick substance where uh, it's falling off there now. Um, yeah, the concrete is much more, I suppose, fluidy and it's better to easier to spread compared to that asphalt was. So that's good to know when it comes to spreading the rest of the road out later on. And again, I'll do that off camera. camera you've seen me spread uh, at the start of the video. You don't need to see me doing it again. It'll be boring enough for you. So, I hope you all found this video helpful when it comes to you, uh, building your own diorama. And if you have any questions on anything, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you give the video a like, as it does help with the YouTube algorithm for any other people who are building their own dioramas they'll come across my channel and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me have a good day